Okay, this is question 12. Given that the sum of the x equals to this number and the sum of the square equals to another bigger number, find the largest value of x1. Probably we need to do a little bit of calculation and to see that this is actually equals to um, 99 times 98 and for the second one this is 99 square times 98 it means that averagely each of the x is equal to 98 this is a very standard question I'll use Cauchy inequality to get the answer the general thinking is that if you want to get the largest value of x1, all of the other x has to be the same. The method is standard. From the first two, we will say that x2, we're starting from x2, x3, all the way to x99, it will be equal to this value, 9998 minus x1. And x2 square, x3 square, all the way to x99 square is equal to 99 square 98 minus x1 square. Now we are going to use Cauchy inequality. For information about Cauchy inequality, you can refer to the next slide. So from here, if I multiply with 98 once, then Cauchy inequality will say that this will be equal to the square of the sum and therefore this is equal to 98 and this is known as 99 square times 98 minus x1 square is greater than equals to 99 times 98 minus x1 square so we expand this it is 99 square times 98 square minus 98 x1 square greater or equals to 99 square, 98 square, minus 2 of 99, 98, x1, plus x1 square. See that these two of the same value, it can be cancelled off. So we have 99 x1 square, minus 2 of uh, 99, 98, x1, less than or equal to 0. 99 x1, and left with x1, minus so these are gone 2 times 98 is 196 less than or equal to 0 this means that x1 will be in between 0 and 196 and x1 is not more than uh, 196 equality holds if and only if x2 equals to x3 all the way until x99 you can check that the equality holds if they're all the same and equals to 97 and in that case x1 will equal to 196 so it means that x1 equals to 196 is achievable in other words 196 is the answer for question 12.